In this video, we will talk about creating a probe tip, activating a probe tip, and some of the other aspects of the probe management screen. To create a probe tip, select the plus sign in the top right of the screen. This will bring up a blank template in order for us to enter information like name, diameter, and length. Let's say we want to create a probe for the 100 millimeter, 6 millimeter ball probe. So the diameter would be 6 millimeters. We're going to enter that in meters, so 0 0.006. The length of that extension is 100 millimeters, so 0 0.100. And I'm going to name this probe 100 x6 so that I know this is the 100 millimeter length and 6 millimeter ball probe. If I want to be consistent with the naming convention that's on these templates, I could change how I label this. So let's do that so that we don't add any confusion and we'll call this my 100 millimeter by 6 probe. Select Save, and a new probe has been created, my 100 millimeter by 6, and it has not been activated. Now right now the only active probe I have is this my 50, and it's showing as active. The status bar across the top of the probe management screen is an indication of this active probe, so the one highlighted in blue. The probe adapter shows my 6 probe and that it is paired with the tracker. The probe is the stylus at the end of the probe that I have set, which is my 50. So here you see the 50 MYP and up here 50 MYP, they correspond. The status is valid and that's because the laser is locked on right now to that probe and it has a previous calibration. I also have a battery indicator to show the length of uh, battery life that I have left on my 6 probe. Now if I scroll down, I can also make this probe one of my favorites by selecting the star in the right corner. This one as well, the new one that I just created, I'll make that a favorite also. So that if I want to see a shortened list of probes, I can just select My Probes and then only see the probes that I have selected. If we change back to all probes for a minute, what you will see is that we have a series of template probes here as well. These are intended to speed the process by which you create your probes. So instead of selecting the plus sign here, I could have selected clone selected probe on the 100 millimeter by 6 and this would have pre-filled the diameter and the length for the probe. I would give this probe my own name and select save and that's a faster way of creating new probes that would be on my list. Lastly, just to cover one more time how to make a probe active, you select the name of the probe. So if I select the name of my 100 millimeter probe, it will become active and blue. And you will see the status change to invalid because I have not previously calibrated that probe. In order to compensate the probe, I would select probe compensation and proceed through that routine. We have a different video which covers that. So this will bring us to the end of the video on activating a tip and creating new tips for your six probe.